We are going on the better part of a year now reviewing navigation. I remember in October 2021 was my very first video. I reviewed the scrunch and the contour. I actually didn't like either one of them. And it was because of you guys. Y'all kept rooting for me to try some more or else I was gonna write the brand off right then and there. Since then, we've tried the sport the camo wild thing and the solid seamless. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It is time to find out where we stand with this brand. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you would know navigation's very hit or miss for me. So right now we are about 50-50. So far the leggings that I seem to like are the sport the wild thing, and the camo. Really like the material, the sport. I mean, I could do without the heavy branding. Yes, that's true. But nevertheless, I do like the way they fit. They're very flattering. I thought it'd be fun to add in a couple more leggings to the mix. This way we could determine how I'm really feeling about this brand. I do believe that the only legging I still have yet to try from Navigation would be the Curve Seamless. Do you guys want to see a review on that next? Let me know. Chances are, let's be real, we're gonna end up testing them out. We only have one more left, just so we could officially say that we've tried every single navigation collection. Right now, we have a lot going on in the month of January. I hope you're ready for these really exciting videos to come. I can't say anything yet, but at the end of this week, we're gonna have a real big video you're not gonna wanna miss. This video is brought to you in part by Ebby. If you guys watch my channel, you know I swear by this brand. They specialize in seamless intimates. We all know the risks of wearing underwear under our leggings and not wearing them under our leggings. You know that you run the risk of the dreaded CT, camel toe, and it just being naturally unsanitary. But if you do wear underwear underneath your leggings, you're gonna get panty lines. The problem is solved by Ebby. So they have a non-slip grip technology that they use, which makes them super unique versus other brands. The no slip grip outlines your underwear. So there's no sliding, no bunching, no rolling. My personal favorite Ebby products are their seamless thongs. Again, I wear these under my leggings every single time I work out. I have nude, prints, even mesh. I'm actually wearing one of their bralettes right now as well. But today I'm here to talk to you about their subscription service. So with Ebby's membership, you get three panties delivered right to your door every three months for $39. What's cool is they offer 50% off your first subscription box for the entire month of January. This is the biggest subscription service discount that Ebby's ever offered, and it's only available this month. Each shipment comes with new colors and prints. Some other perks include customizing your box each month with the style, color, and print that you want. And if your first order doesn't fit perfectly, Ebby is committed to getting you in the perfect fit. 100% fit guarantee. First, what you wanna do is fill out your profile. You can customize your subscription or select from their curated packages. They ship free quarterly. You can skip or cancel at any time, so there's nothing locking you in. All products site-wide are automatically discounted up to 20% for subscribers. And do not get it twisted. You can obviously purchase things individually. You don't have to have a subscription. So definitely give them a check. I'll have them linked down below. If you see something that you like, feel free to use my code Ashley Gata and you will save 15% off of your order. Thank you so much to Ebby for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back at it. So we have here the Envy Seamless in the color Ocean Blue. And on this side, we have the Signature 2.0 in the color Scarlet. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm going for the brights now. Get used to it. I'm in spring mode, I'm done with winter. So right off the bat, we have a seamless versus a non-seamless legging. So let's first start with the Envy Seamless. Right off the bat, you have an all over marl design, very squared off thick waistband, very minimal everything, actually. When you really look at it, other than the marl design, there's no actual seam breakup on the glutes, no contouring down the legs whatsoever. They kept this very simple and minimal. And of course you have the traditional navigation sewn in logo on the back of the band. Now keep in mind, both of these leggings are in my true size small. That's what I've gone with with all of Navigation's leggings. First thing I noticed when putting this baby on, the band is super compressive. Damn. When I put it on, I thought, oh my God, this is definitely a tapered waistband because right at the top of the band is where I really feel that dig. Now that I'm holding it, no, it's very squared off. It's just that compressive of a band. Look at this. The good thing about this type of waistband is that it doesn't slide. There's no moving of this legging whatsoever. There's no band gape, none of that. If you prefer that nice compression and tummy control, by all means, because your glutes are still gonna look fire, still gonna show off your shape. The real big hitter, you already knew I was gonna say this, the glutes. No scrunch bum, 
no shaded contour, nothing to help enhance the booty except the material itself. And that it did. 10 out of 10 on the glutes, I have to say that. In terms of the front side, I was pleasantly surprised to see that there was no dreaded CT. No camel toe whatsoever. Ever so slight Barbie crotch, but not nearly as bad as some of them. I mean, some of them is just like blatant right in your face. Overall, really, really nice stretch. The stretchiest part will be right here. Not the band, I'm gonna keep saying that. Great length on me. Not totally squat proof. That's the only thing. It was about 75% squat proof. I don't know how their other darker colors are in this collection, but with this ocean blue, even though they're not 100% squat proof, I'd still rock them at the gym. The sweat wicking department. We need to chat about that. You did see some sweat. Didn't really evaporate right away. Now granted, the moral breakup really does help conceal that, but I still felt like mm, they could have done better in that department, especially because these are seamless and they're meant for the gym. Come on. Overall, the legging itself is fairly breathable. Not crazy thin, but not thick. Not thick. It is made out of nylon and spandex, so your traditional gym legging. This material has a little bit of that coarseness to it, like the contour did. It's not silky smooth, not slippery at all. It's got a little bit of that ruggedness, but I like that for seamless wear because I do plan to, you know, work out and do some dirty things in this. At the gym. Where's your head at? Now let's talk the Signature 2.0. First of all, this color is so beautiful. I love this type of red where it's almost on the border of having a little bit of orange in it. So straight up, the Signature 2.0, we know it is not seamless. I'm probably not gonna take it to the gym. I don't usually wear non-seamless to the gym. That's just me, my preference. All over solid, no contour, not needed. Very silky smooth, very slippery. An entirely different animal than the Envy Seamless you just saw. These are very much lower support, very much yoga-based leggings, if I do say so myself. The waistband, not nearly compressed, it's really not compressive at all. <laughs> I actually really like the lay around my waist a lot better. I don't feel like I'm wearing a corset. So if you take a look at the back here, you do have the navigation logo. Now I do think with this slippery type of material, a nice embroidery would have done well for this legging so that it can sustain its look for a long time. I don't know how long this is gonna hold up being a printed heat sealed logo on this slippery of a material. I don't know. This is why we wash our activewear on a cold setting only and then air dry it. So you do have some side seams going on on the band, a slight V seam on the back. I mean, I mean, it's so slight. I will say it looks pretty good on the glutes though, especially for it being a little bit low in the back in terms of the V seam. I feel like with me, I really love a nice high arch to accentuate the glutes. This isn't that crazy high. Like it sits kind of low, but I'm used to that. Every single legging, except for Buff Bunny. I don't know, Buff Bunny's the only one that gets it. Every single seamed legging seems to run low on my booty. Because of this material, I wanted to test out whether or not there's gonna be some sheerness on the glutes, any of the real meaty areas. Does it fade out around these parts? And it does not. Actually, these are more squat proof than the Envy on me. Who would have guessed? <laughs> very, very stretchy, but because it's super stretchy and slippery, there's a little bit of sliding going on, but not to the point where it's making its way down anywhere. I mean, it's virtually undetectable. They nailed it with this material being functional. While we're on the topic of material, these leggings are so good for wicking sweat. It's insane. I did the sweat test on these leggings and nothing was detected. I mean, you didn't see anything. My skin was dry after a second in these. They not only absorbed, but they wicked right away. I didn't see any sweat showing through these leggings. That's pretty impressive. So if that's important to you, you gotta keep that in mind. If you're a heavy sweater, I would say gravitate towards these. Now, even though this material is very gym friendly, the one thing I couldn't help but notice was the dreaded CT in these. Pretty bad camel toe going on here, but a plus is there was no Barbie crotch, so give and take, right? In terms of overall breathability, I would say Signature 2.0 would be better for that. I feel like it's a lot more lightweight. It's got almost that cooling material, if that makes sense. I think you know what I'm talking about. I also think it's important to note that the length was not an issue in either of these leggings for me. I'm five foot three and both seem to be just right. The final breakdown, here we go. Squat proof department. Signature 2.0. Sweat wicking department. Signature 2.0. Tummy control, overall support and compression. Envy seamless. 
overall quality, I'd give it to Envy Seamless. Not to say this isn't good quality, but the logo and the seams, this is the deciding factor here. Cellulite. Now this was a big one. I didn't touch base on this. Not so cellulite friendly, a lot more cellulite friendly. Which one's more comfortable for all day wear? Signature 2.0. There's no digging in my midsection, the low support and the buttery soft material, very comfortable. But if I'm actually physically working out in the gym, leg day for example, NV seamless all the way. If I'm at home doing yoga, signature 2.0. You guys, at the end of the day, these are both very beautiful, two really great leggings. They just serve two different purposes, at least for me. So there's no loser here in today's video. I'm actually really excited about that because believe me, I don't thrive off of not liking leggings. <laughs> I want to say, yeah, these are awesome, but I'm here to give you guys honest reviews. So not everything is a hit for me. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. But luckily that is not the case today. I'm really excited that I'm liking and digging both of these leggings. Yay. Also important to note that these are both $48, the same exact price. That is something I want to give them a little credit for. Their leggings have always been on the more affordable side. So, I mean, with that being said, wait, I think we're one up now, which means I like more of Navigation's leggings than I don't. So comment down below, have you tried any of these leggings we shared today? Also comment down below, which video do you think is coming up next? It's from a brand we all know and love. I don't wanna say too much, but it's gonna be a little bit of a tearjerker in a way. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys and I will catch you in my next video.